Hey guys, I want to welcome you back. Um, if you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Sonnet and I am the owner and the creator here at Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now in today's video, it is going to be episode five of the spring DIYs. Uh, so I had five projects planned. Unfortunately, I only got to four. So for episode six, which will be Monday, you all are going to get six projects. So um, with that said, I hope you enjoy today's video. Project one is going to be a pillow makeover. I had this amazing downfilled pillow and I brought it with me to the cranberry fest and it got a little um just the actual cover itself got really dirty and i tried to wash it um, i could not get the dirt out so we are going to use the insert from the pillow uh, and we are going to create um, a very festive bunny um, pillow so i'm using that same fabric that i had gotten at the walmart and um, i am going to also reuse this bunny if you remember i used it on my peter cottontail sign that i did a couple videos ago what i'm using is just a really fine tipped um magic marker or like permanent marker and i'm just going around and i'm tracing it and i've done this on the back side of the material and from there what i'm going to do is cut it out you want to do it on the back side you do not want any marker to be on the front. So from here, I'm taking a very sharp scissors and I am just gonna try to cut as close as possible to, you know, to that actual image that I outlined. Um, this probably was the longest portion of the entire project, uh, just because you want to try to get it as perfect as possible because from there, we are going to sew it on to the front of the pillow. So I absolutely love how this little guy turned out. And now I am going to cut out the back. The pillow insert is 18 inches by 18 inches. So what we want to do is cut out a piece of fabric that is 19 by 19. And I am going to make the back of the pillow the same color as the bunny. And then on the front of the pillow, I'm just going to use a piece of drop cloth. So I cut both of those pieces to 19 by 19 because when you sew it around, you sew about a half an inch all the way around the entire pillow. So now that I have it on here, I'm taking my misting bottle and I'm going to mist it and then I'm going to press it with my iron. We want to make sure that there are no wrinkles in the bunny or on the actual drop cloth material that I'm using on the front of the pillow. Uh, from here, then I am going to pin it um, to secure it in place so that we can sew it. So now that I have it pinned, I am going to begin sewing it. And what I do is I just can keep on sewing around and then I'll pick up the actual foot of the sewing machine or the foot there. And I actually just, it helps me maneuver and make it very easy to go around the entire outline. Uh, this went pretty quick and um, I really love how this turned out. Here is the finished uh, project of the bunny sewn on the front. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna sew the pillow form together. So you take um, each piece and you want the good sides in facing in. So you want to have the bunny on the inside and the good fabric on the inside. What we're going to do then is again, we are pinning it. Uh, we wanna do this just to prevent it from moving um, when it's pinned, everything just stays perfect and it makes it a lot easier to sew. When I start sewing, I am going to start on the bottom corner and I'm going to sew all the way around till I hit the other bottom corner. We want to leave the bottom of the pillow open. That way we can put the pillow insert in and then we'll sew the rest. This is such a quick and easy project to do, uh, and you can whip up pillows to match whatever uh, vignette that you're trying to 
uh, incorporate different um, color combos for. I do this all the time. I just pull together a bunch of fabric that I've thrifted or purchased and I whip up pillows and it just adds a little soft touch to your uh, different vignettes either in your home or in your booths. So from here we then take that um, and we flip it the correct way. And I like to take each corner and just pop my finger in there to make them pop back out. Um, and doesn't this look so cute? I just love how this turned out. Um, I'm almost, I always say this, you guys, but I always am like, oh, I want to keep it for myself. But I am going to put it in a booth with that chair that um, you'll see later on that I recovered in one of my last videos. So now we're gonna put the pillow insert in and it's really easy. Um, I Because this is down, it's very easy. You just squeeze the pillow and you don't, you wanna be kind of careful because you've sewn each of the corners on the bottom. You don't want any of that pulling. So I always just squeeze and just keep pushing it in uh, until I got that all, um, the whole entire form put in. And then from there, I am going to pin the bottom and I am going to just run um, uh, my sewing machine right over the bottom and then sew it right up. Here it is, the finished project. I love how it turned out. There's the sewn up bottom and it came together super quick. So for this project, what you're going to need is just an old book where we're going to take some uh, pages out. What I did is I took out six pieces of the book and I used um, just a paper cutter to make it nice and straight. And then I laid them out. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to create a little banner and I'm going to have this hung in my booth. Um, and it is going to say spring. So another thing that I'm using is my favorite uh, set of stamps from IOD typesetting. Uh, you can, if you don't have the typesetting stamps um, and don't choose to purchase those, that's fine. You can also make a stencil by using your Cricut or if you have a different type of machine, um, you can make a stencil with that as well and then create a very similar look um, with that. I am choosing to use uh, the typesetting set of stamps because I have them and they are, like I said, by far one of my favorite set of stamps. Very versatile. They have the capital letters, the lowercase and the numbers and um, I just like the whole look of them. So I, um, what I've done here is I've um, just inked up the S and then what I'm doing is I wanna line it up so that I know all my letters are gonna be on each of the pages the same distance up, like they're, they're centered perfectly and um, that it doesn't go up and down, up and down. So that's what we're trying to do here. And um, I just do that to each of the pages and I think this turned out great. So from here, we're gonna take this piece of twine that I picked up at the Walmart and we are going to find the center. Uh, from there, uh, we are gonna lay the twine out and um, because spring has six letters, we know that between the R and the I is the center. So from there, I am going to evenly um, use uh, these clothespins that I, I found these Bega clothespins um, at the dollar store. Uh, they were actually at Walmart too, but it, it actually was less expensive to pick them up there at the dollar store. And I'm just going to close pin them right to the twine. 
and I think this turned out just awesome. I'm so excited to get this in my booth. Um, the Vintage Shop Hop is coming up very quick, and I'm trying to uh, paint new things and, you know, just decorate it all for spring. So this will be a perfect little added um, embellishment to my booth, and I will put it for sale. For project three, this is going to be super easy. I have had a bunch of these glass vases laying around in my stash and been trying to figure out different ways to use them. I recently uh, was uh, out shopping and I found all these really cool, just unique colored eggs at um, this place in downtown Appleton. So I grabbed them all and I'm like, what am I going to use them for? And then I came up with this idea. I decided to incorporate all of the eggs into the bottom of this glass container. And it has blue eggs, green eggs, some um, actually different shades of green, different shades of blue. And I'm incorporating them all. So I'm mixing them all up. And then I'm going to take, it's it's kind of, I think it looks like dogwood. Or um, I'm trying to figure out what that tw twig was that I, I found this stem at Walmart last year. And it was $3.47. It just reminds me so much of spring. So what I'm going to do is cut it apart. And then we're going to put it inside the eggs. And I just think this turned out great. Um, not you didn't have to do a lot and it just adds a lot and I'm right now deciding if I want to keep this for myself because I really made it for my kitchen table for spring. So for project four, I was so excited. I recently um, got a shipment in with the butterflies from IOD. And butterflies remind me of spring and summer. I am a master gardener. And one of the things that I really strive to do is try to incorporate as many plants uh, in my gardens to attract butterflies. So I was so excited that I got this set. And um, what we're going to do is, first of all, um, I just want to tell you guys, a new set, you pull the backing off and you take sandpaper and to um, prep them, you just lightly sand the set of stamps and then they're ready to take on the ink. It just um, preps the whole set of stamps. So I just wanted to tell you that. Um, but for this project, I had a while ago picked a bunch of these plates. I actually thrifted them and they're all vintage and just really unique. Um, and I thought, what a great way. Um, it had all these beautiful um, floral, like flowers on it. So I am going to take one um, butterfly and we're gonna just stamp it on the plate. And I think it's just gonna add so much. So now that I figured out which butterfly we're gonna use, uh, I wanted one that was going to be a perfect size. Uh, we're going to just lay it out on a piece of thin mount. And again, I'm just te testing it, making sure that it will fit perfect. Um, we're using the black ink, which is a permanent ink from IOD. We're going to put it on there nice and even. And the key here, because it is a slippery surface, you want to, once you position it and you put the um, stamp down, hold it on one side, rub it, 
then hold it on that side and then rub the other side. You always you don't want that stamp to move or it will smudge. Um, this is a permanent ink and I've tested this on other plates and it has not come off. I've you know gone and washed it and it's never um, come off. So I, I guess I wouldn't recommend though putting it in a dishwasher. But I love how this turned out. guys all think I love spring so I cannot get enough I love creating um, it just brings me so much joy after our long winter here in Wisconsin uh, any of the products that you saw that I used from IOD can be found on my website at www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com and um, I Monday's video will have six projects uh, like I said I ran out of time. I've been prepping and preparing for the vintage shop hop, so I do apologize for that. But um, I, I, I was going to give you a sneak peek of that fifth project, but you'll have to wait till Monday. Have a great weekend.